be in like a city, a city chic Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another one of my dressing room try on videos. And as you guys can tell by the title, it is city chic. Now, City Chic is a store that we all know it's got the plus size clothing. It is a specific plus size clothing store. And in my opinion, I actually feel like they have some good stuff in there. I do, you, the, every time that I've went and bought something from there, it actually has been good quality. And most of the stuff that I've bought from there, actually everything I've bought from there, I still have uh, years later. So I did the try on at two different store locations just to see if there was like different stock at both of the stores. It kind of looked like to me like they had very similar stock which was pretty good now in the city chic i tend to go for like an extra large but it honestly does depend sometimes a large suits me as well i've even gone down to a medium but i'll just i'll say mainly my size is an extra large there and actually whilst we're at city chic because i have gotten a couple of questions in my dms about my shapewear the shapewear that i wear is from city chic i will i'll link that down below for you guys it is the i believe it's called like the thigh shaper one it's the one that has the like bicycle short style because I mainly wear it for like the leg chafing but I do feel like it you know because it comes like right up the top it kind of like smooths me out and that is the reason that I wear it because I like to like when I wear a dress I like to have like smooth silhouette and I also need it for my leg rubbages <laughs> And I've, I've always been transparent with you guys. I wear my shapewear all the time. If I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, I definitely have on shapewear because I just don't feel comfortable without it, mainly in terms of the leg chafing. And because I wear it so often, I'm so used to it and I kind of find it comfortable. I just feel weird without it. So yes, in this video, I do have on my shapewear. And let's just get started with the video. So the first dress that I tried on, I grabbed it in an extra large and it was this lovely long green flowy dress. I feel like there was also another pattern in like a blue tone for this because I saw one and it looked the same, but the green sort of stood out to me. So I tried it on because I just wanted to see that like really long flowy look and I feel like it looked really good on me. It was nice and flowy. It kind of had like a crossover here, but it was like not one that you actually cross over. That's just how it, how it sat. So like a nice little v-neck here. The sleeves were lovely and flowy and I liked how it kind of went, came to the knee and then from the knee had a little bit of a teared out down the bottom. It had a tie up, which I love anything that has a tie up. I just feel like it's great. It cinches your waist in and I feel like it just looks better for the outfit and what I've been seeing a lot now in a lot of the stores is that elastic here at the wrist which I've said in the past like I feel like it looks nice when you wear your sleeves down but I feel like when you go to pull your sleeves up to here you will get that like elastic mark because you know here is a little bit usually thinner than here so and I don't really particularly like that and I don't want anything really digging into me there uh, but otherwise I feel like the dress looked really lovely it had underneath lining which is always great on a sheer dress like this you definitely need it and the layers kind of like really make the dress stay well and fall well because because sometimes if the fabric is like too thin uh and it doesn't really sit as nicely but once you get a couple of layers it falls because of the weight and it really does make the outfit look a lot more elegant and if you want to wear it to like a wedding or somewhere more dressy uh you will look really good because it just shows like it looks really good that dress retails for $149.95 next up my absolute favorite dress that I tried on in the whole thing and I really want this dress and I'm gonna wait till it goes on sale and I'm hoping that there'll be sizes left because I really really want it I feel like it looked so good on me now I tried it on in an extra large and I feel like it fit me really well and I loved how it sat up the top it had like a little bit of a sweetheart neckline and it had that little kind of like lace on there so so pretty it had the like faux buttons and then I liked how it kind of came at the, in at the waist and then fell down it was just so pretty the straps were adjustable and i feel like i probably needed to pull them a little bit more but i could have kind of reached the back and i didn't want to take the dress off but it sat so so well that like i was like oh i really want this now and what i liked about this dress was it didn't even need a tie up because of the way it was made where it cinched 
in at the waist it definitely didn't even need anything to pull you in because it was already there I, I kind of remember, but I feel like those little clasps that they had here was for decorations. They didn't actually unclasp. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. I was just too busy loving the dress on me. I love the color, the like flowers to it. And I, I just thought it was such a great dress. And I just feel like it looks really good on me. <laughs> and that dress retails for $149.95. Next up, I tried on this lovely pink dress and they actually had the XXL in the store so I tried it on. I feel like not all the stores carry the double XL. I remember like a few years ago they only had double XL online and now I believe like the extended sizing which I think is just the double XL is only available at certain stores and the size just fit me fine. The dress was really pretty. I'm pretty sure this one also came in a different color but I like it kind of gave me that like handkerchief vibes. Uh, the straps were also adjustable so they needed to be adjusted. He had like a little tie here which was just like for decorations and I kind of like the bottom how he had a little bit of like the uneven bottom. Lengthwise I didn't really love the length maybe because of the uneven bottom uh, but I feel like it, it still fit me just fine. I personally probably would have sized to an XL if they had it because I just would have preferred it a little bit tighter in the waist area given that there was nothing to like tie up there. The material was nice and soft and the dress was really nice and flowy just really something that's in right now and and pink is in as well especially like I guess kind of heading into like autumn as well it's like a dusty pink the dress also had lining underneath and as I said before the lining always works well with the dress because it just gives you that extra fabric so the dress doesn't like cling on you and also doesn't like show all your lumpity bumpities as well so this was a pretty dress I liked it the dress retailed for $129.95 the next item that I tried on was the first thing that I noticed when I walked into the store actually it was on the mannequin at the front of the store and I was like what a hot skirt I just feel like it was such a me skirt it would be a skirt that I would literally wear so so often first of all because it was black so black goes with like everything it's classical it's timeless and like you can keep it for ages and what I loved about it was that it had that little like ruching to the side that came up just made the skirt look so sexy great for like going out you could dress it up dress it down like you could wear it to work if you wanted to like wear it with the shirt or you could wear it like out clubbing with like a crop top there's so many things you could wear with or like or a bar I guess I don't really go clubbing at my age but you know there's a lot of places that you could wear it to and I just absolutely loved it there was stretch to it so it really accommodated the curves elastic in the waistband which I loved but the the win was the ruching I just loved it I feel like it's really flattering and just so so pretty the length I I loved it. Don't tell you guys I tried on in an extra large. The size fit me perfectly. Now at first when I felt it because it was like a little bit slinky I was like eh, I don't know but it was kind of like a thick slinky so it actually sat really well. I did have my shapewear underneath which kind of helps it smooth that out but I really love this skirt. It just was so good. And that skirt retails for $99.95. Next up, I saw this leopard print dress. It was cute and short, and I thought, let me try this on. So I grabbed it in the extra large. And what was interesting was, on the like tag when I went to have a look at it, it was a different brand. It said Refinity, and I'd never heard of that brand. And I have noticed in the past there are other different like tags in the City Chic store. So they also do clothing, I guess, from other brands. And I thought, let me just try this on. This dress didn't have any stretch, so that's why I tried it on in like my actual size. And I feel like if fit me just fine it was like cute little dress the fabric was nice and flowy there was buttons but they were like just there for decorations and there was a little tie up which who doesn't love a dress that has tie up it's like my favorite the dress was nice and short and there's also sleeves in particular like this style of dress is not like particularly my style like I much prefer bodycon styles but I feel like this is nice and casual and nice and flowy and a lot of people do like wearing things that are flowy just like sometimes you don't want anything tight on you you want it flowy and I feel like this dress was pretty cute yes mama yes Chippy keeps making me open the door in and out <laughs> Okay, so the bottom of the dress had like a little kind of flap over, but it wasn't something you could actually undo. It was just there for the style of the look. So it had like that little kind of crossover, which 
I feel like it was cute. It kind of uh, made the dress look a little bit cuter than what it was. That dress retails for $109.95. Next up, now this was definitely a Stanzi style dress because it was bodycon, but it was so cute with the polka dots. Now I grabbed it in a size extra large and I feel like the size fit me just fine. I loved how, so the fabric was kind of like that netting stretchy sort of fabric and it was like gathered, which I love anything that's like gathered because I just feel like it's very complimentary and very flattering on myself, which, which I really like. Now, the only thing that I didn't like about this dress was the like breast area had the like already cut out kind of like booby sort of bit there which I didn't like as someone with bigger breasts it just doesn't suit me because it kind of sits on top there rather than it sitting like you know the way it should so I feel like the dress would have looked a lot better without that because that way people could just fill it out however they want like you just leave a blank put it gathered and then whatever your size is it will sit great on you <laughs> I did love the sleeves up here that that looked really pretty and all in all, it sat really well on me. The length came to the knees, the perfect length that I love. And I feel like this is a dress that can also be timeless because polka dots are like always in. It's just like a fabric where we have something that's like not simple and just black, like, but polka dots are in, I feel like, all year round. And especially like black and white polka dots, I love adding red to that and it just like elevates the look totally. So I feel like this dress is so cute, especially for like a wedding or a party or somewhere where you're going to go to absolutely adorable it was a little bit on the pricey side though that one came in at 169.95 and lastly another dress when i go to city chic i love trying on dresses <laughs> so i saw this black and white stripy dress and what drew me to was it was like a shirt style so it had the collar and it was like a little bit on the stiffer side and i grabbed it in a size extra large and that size fit me just fine i really liked the look of it it was just something a little bit different and kind of the stiffness made it sort of sit more structured like a shirt which i liked so there was buttons and the actual buttons went all the way down so if you wanted to like especially if i'm wearing makeup and trying things on i love anything that like buttons all the way out because then i can take it off without trying to dirty it in any way and i love the like collar bit here i you know my favorite had the, had a little bit of a tie up and i also like how it had the like tear levels because especially with that material if it just fell straight it kind of would have looked a little bit boring but having the tears just added a little bit of extra to the dress and made it a little bit more elegant looking as well and another bonus the dress had pockets and that was really cute because especially like in this kind of fabric you wouldn't really notice them and you could even pop your phone then you probably wouldn't see it and so who doesn't love pockets in something so i really liked that all in all the dress was really good i feel like it stayed really well on me so that's definitely one that i do like and that one retails for 149.95 and that is everything that I tried on at City Chic for this video. They actually had so many new items in there. I feel like they do ch change it up quite a bit. A lot of the like more formal things, because they're classical items, they still kind of stay around. But they are slowly transitioning from what I can see into the autumn season by having a couple of long sleeves. But also like sometimes the colours tend to go a different direction when it does get to autumn. There was quite a few jackets. So I'm thinking I might do like a dressing room jacket type video and go to a few different stores and show you guys some jackets so if that's something you guys want to see like what sort of different jackets that there are out there and coming up soon i'm happy to do like a specific video of different stores for you guys not just city chic and from everything that I tried on today, I kind of liked lots of them. As you guys knew, that dress was like my favorite item. And I absolutely loved the skirt. That's something that I would definitely buy as well. Comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item of the things that I tried on. And if you have any of the items that I did show you guys today, comment down below. Let me know if you have them and what you think. How does it fit on you? What are your opinions? Let me know. And before we go, if you like these sorts of videos and lifestyle videos like makeup videos, stuff like that, please feel free to hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell for notifications so then you can watch my videos every week because I do upload quite a few videos a week and you're not going to want to miss them. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.